Don't ask how, but that's my hand. Don't question it, it's science. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Omar, and today I'm going to be decorating just a lovely multicolored cake in honor of spring, and there go my chocolate chips. Although they aren't really chocolate, but you know, such is life. Alright, so we're going to be starting off, we got this lovely yellow cake, and we got some blue frosting. Yep, just going to tap just a tiny amount, you know. We're just trying to fill in the pores of that cake, nothing too crazy. Yep, see, just, just a tiny amount. See? It's really just a base layer, a primer to help all the other colors stick. Oh, oh, we're getting a little bit more. That's not bad. You know? Yep, yep. There's that bowl. Okay. Yeah. See? Okay. Oh, we're getting way more. Okay. That is a lot of frosting. Okay. Well, frosting is the best part of the cake, right? And everyone knows that blue is the best color. Okay, I see that we're really giving love to, you know, this, I'm going to call it the eastern part of the cake? The no, western part of the cake, actually, eastern from your perspective. Okay, so I'm gonna, now going to go in and, okay. No, nope. this is just what I'm doing, folks. No. Nope. Sometimes your cake has gaps, and I've just accepted that this is just, you know, the wabi-sabi. And sometimes you gotta smack that cake, so do as I do if in, if in doubt. Like if you have a disobedient cake, just you know, smack that cake up. Alright, so now I'm gonna start using this red frosting. Yep, right on top of the blue, that's what we're gonna do. So get that on top of the blue, it's gonna make this lovely smeary purple. Oh yeah, get in with your hands. Mm -hmm. See, I personally, I think best with my hands, so I think this is really how you're gonna get the best results. But everyone needs to do it in their own way. So if you're not comfortable using your hands, well, maybe you could use someone else's hands, and maybe you could use like a spatula. But for me, I like to actually get in there because I want to get texture in there. Because I want to mix up some of those cake crumbs and that. Okay, now I'm gonna grab some of this yellow as well because I want to make some green. So I'm gonna drop that yellow on top of the blue. I'm gonna get in there. We got this lovely, lovely fresh yellow cake. We're mixing the crumbs up in there. And the reason I'm doing that is because it gives it a more visual, interesting contrast. Beautiful. So as you can see, we have this, it's this dichotomy of the yellow versus the blue versus the red. And I really love making my cake speak as art. And in the middle, we have this central area where there's absolutely no frosting, where cake has just been torn up. And what that really represents is how, in no matter how violent the conflict, no man's land doesn't belong to anyone. No color can claim that land. Or cake, so to speak. No, no. Looks fantastic. I'm very proud of this. I would have no problem selling this cake. Okay. Um, I think I want some of these chocolate chips now. I think it's time. Ah, oh, yeah. We're just dropping right in the hole of that cake. Because honestly, everyone, like Valentine's is coming up, everyone's had a hole in their heart. What feels it better than chocolate? There we go. Oh, oh, um, I, I'm just getting the urge for more chocolate chips. I know that that yellow frosting is going to fall off eventually, but I don't really care. Or sometimes I do care. You know what? Don't judge. I change my mind. Okay, okay. I think I'm going to grab those sprinkles that are up in front of my right hand stretch, but you know, I got this. This is why I'm at the gym, working on this flexibility, y'all. Ah, yeah, I got those white pearls everywhere. Oh, oh, no, those yellow pearls everywhere. Those red and a bunch of starfish. Honestly, it was kind of just everything in that bottle. I'm expecting, like, the cure to cancer to fall out of that bottle right at this point, but I'm not really sure. Okay, getting some more blue. No, I'm going for red frosting, actually. I'm feeling red. Oh yeah, tear up some chunks of that cake, get it all mixed in there, get that nice textural contrast. Alright, so that's that's a lot of... I, 
I've made an abomination. I apologize. Someone's gonna lose a tooth when they bite into this cake. I'm not gonna eat this cake, but I'll feed it to someone I may or may not like. I'm thinking, what else should we go for next? Uh, yeah, I think that red frosting, that looks pretty good. I think you can get a little, we need to get a little more than that. Like, I'm just gonna get my hand on in there. Oh yeah, get the hand in there. Yeah. I wish I had this, uh, yeah. I need like a up close microphone so y'all could hear that. Oh, no. It's very satisfying. Yeah. I'm gonna have nightmares about the sound I just made with my hands, but you know, it's just how you do. I think we should get some more yellow frosting. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna reach over, grab that thing of yellow frosting. I'm gonna keep that thing of sprinkles from falling off the table and that's gonna cause a god awful mess if it does. Yep, yep, get the, oh, oh, yeah, just fill that hole. There you go. Uh, it's got, like, if you were to take a slice out of this, I'm going to call it the southwestern quadrant of the cake. You can basically taste the rainbow, and you'd probably lose three fillings, because it is literally just 20% sugar pearls, and the rest of it is just a crater where there used to be cake, and it's filled with frosting. All right, got some more yellow. I mean, you can't have too much yellow, let's be honest. It's like the sun. That's the thing. This is a cake that's supposed to, like, chase away the winter blues. So it's supposed to be like spring. And what is more springtime than the bright sunshine? Oh, yeah. Yep, get those colors all blended in. See? And you can really see how we started with this blue and red and yellow. And initially, it didn't really look like it was going to work. But now that we've got it all together, it's really just started to blend. They start to fill in where each other has have weaknesses, and you end up with this palette that's stronger than any of the individual colors were. So what am I going to do next? I think we should go for some blue. If we did red, we did yellow. So I'm going to reach a little bit in front of my right hand and grab that blue. Oh uh, yeah, on the back right side of that bowl, there is a ton of blue frosting. I'm going to get it right in that hole and I'm going to patch it. It's like mortar. Icing it fixes like it needs to mend the broken heart. It needs to mend the broken cake. I don't recommend using it to mend a broken heart, but the cake is great. Thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, it's time for more chocolate chips to fix that. Alright, so I'm gonna reach up in front of my left hand. Yep, yep, gonna get a nice big handful. Some of those went on the cake. I'm very happy with that. At this point, like, I've just been smelling this cake and all this frosting all this time, so I'm basically have, like, a contact sugar high. So, like, my hands are super shaky. So I'm just happy some of them ended up on the cake, you know? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, on that fo note, folks, I think this is our wonderful springtime cake. Thank you for joining me. I've been Omar. This is the No Hands Challenge. Drop a comment. Let us know. Let me know, actually, because this is my channel. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Let us know. Let me know what you thought about this channel or this video. And like the video if you enjoyed it. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, y'all. Have a good one. Bye.